I believe that hip-hop is a satanic religion. Satan gets worship through the hip-hop artists. It isn't just the music that is evil, but the dancing and the lyrics that go along with it are wicked as well. Even the other elements of hip-hop culture are wicked. And I'm going to get more into that later. But the first reason I believe hip-hop is a satanic religion is because of the idol worship that goes along with it. The first reason I believe hip-hop is a satanic religion is because of the idol worship. Many people look to these rap artists as gods. Eminem even has a song where he refers to himself as a rap god. Members of the rap group, the Wu-Tang Clan, refer to each other as a god. And one of their members goes by the name You God. Even the rapper Jay-Z refers to himself as Jehovah. And that's the name God gives himself in the Bible. And even Jay-Z has an album called Kingdom Come. Kanye West said hip-hop is a religion and the rappers are the preachers and the music is the scriptures. Little Wayne made this statement at one of his concerts. He said, I believe in God, do you? I'm not blank without you, so make noise for what you've created. He's pretty much saying he is God and that the fans created him. The sad thing is the fans of these rap artists helped to make these gods. They helped make these rappers become a god. They worked with their own hands and then used their hard-earned money to go out and buy these rap artists' CDs. They used their money to go to their concerts. And when they went to these concerts, they threw up their hands and worshipped these false gods. Whether they knew it or not, that's what they were doing. If you have read the Old Testament at all, then you have read verses like Isaiah 2 and verse 8 that says, Their land also was full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands, that which their own fingers have made. What people would do in the Old Testament, and they still do it today, I'm sure, is carve images out of wood or gold, and they worship them as idols. They made them with their own hands. It's really pathetic to have a God that you made yourself. Wouldn't you rather have a God that made you? Judges 18.24 says, And he said, You have taken away my gods, which I made. Notice he said, Which I made. A lot of people today have made their self a god. And in a sense, these fans have made themselves a god. They gave these so-called artists worship, money, and fame. And what Satan wants is to still worship away from God. And he is doing, doing it through the entertainment industry. Idol worship isn't just golden calves anymore. Marilyn Manson, Anton LaVey, and others have said that Satanism is about being your own God. That is what hip-hop is about. KRS-One says in the book, The Gospel of Hip-Hop, that your ability is God. While KRS One may not be worshiping Satan directly, these rap artists are acting like Satanists and believe in being their own god. If you are just living for self, then you are being your own god. In the book of Exodus, chapter twenty and verse three, it says, "Thou shalt have no other gods before me." You can't serve the living and true God without turning from your idols. 1 Thessalonians 1 and verse 9 says, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. People are their own gods in this time we are living in. They are lovers of their own self. A sign of the last days of the church age is people will be lovers of their own self. The rapper Nas has an al album called God's Son, and he also has a rap video called Hate Me Now, where he portrays himself as Jesus Christ being hung on a cross. He did this because Jesus Christ is the most hated man that's ever lived. In John 15 and verse 18, 
He said, If the world hate you, ye know it that it hated me before it hated you. Nas often refers to himself as a god. And Kanye West even has a song with the title, I Am A God. If you are a hip-hop fan, then you help make these false gods by handing over your money, your time, and doing things like putting posters of them on your wall. You made them a god by putting them before the God of the Bible. Revelation 9.20 says, And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils, and idols of gold, and silver, and brass, and stone, and of wood, which can neither see, nor hear, nor walk. These rap artists may have a live body that can walk around and see and hear, but they are spiritually dead, and even though you can see them on TV, they can't see you, hear you, or walk over to you. They don't even know that you even exist, and if they did, they wouldn't give you the time of day. But the true God of the Bible loved you enough personally to come down in the flesh as Jesus Christ, his Son, and die on the cross for your sins. And Jesus Christ will save anyone, even if you have listened to rap music your whole life, and your mind is desensitized to sin by the lyrics, he will save anyone, anytime, any place. If you want to be saved, then come to Jesus Christ as a guilty sinner and believe on Him as your crucified, buried, and risen Savior. He died and shed His blood to keep you out of hell. All you have to do is trust in Him as your Savior. The music is used by Satan as a aid of worship. When King Nebuchadnezzar wanted the people to worship his image, he had people to play music. In Daniel 3 and verse 5 it says that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. But not only is hip-hop a satanic religion because of the idol worship, it is a satanic religion because of the spirits that are behind it. If you are being entertained by hip-hop, then you are being entertained by devils. There is no doubt about it that these rappers are possessed with devils. The King James Bible doesn't actually say demons. It uses the word devils. There is one devil, but many devils. In the Old Testament, you read a lot about people sacrificing their children to Molech. In Psalms 106, and verse 37, it says... Yea, they sacrifice their sons and their daughters unto devils. When you let your kids watch and listen to these wicked rap artists, you are in a sense sacrificing them to these devils. When you read the Old Testament and you saw the phrase, made his son or daughter to pass through the fire, that is referring to the parents sacrificing their children to a false god. That is exactly what parents are doing today when they buy these CDs, concert tickets, and posters for their children's rooms. It's child abuse, and you are putting your son or daughter on their Broadway to hell. Let's look at some of the spirits that are being played throughout your house when you listen to this so-called music. Jay-Z says he gets possessed by the spirits. Jay-Z said in one interview that when he's writing, he said... It comes out of the air for me. I just start mumbling. You get the right artist, the right track, leave the door cracked, and let God in. That is a scary statement. He said, it comes out of the air for me. You know what the Bible calls Satan? In Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 2 it says, Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. He said, Leave the door cracked and let God in. He can't be referring to the God of the Bible because God hates his music. It's contrary to what the Bible stands for. And he has to be referring to the God of this world, which is Satan. Second Corinthians 4.4 4 says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. 
Ever wonder why these rap artists mention Jesus Christ, God, and the Bible so much? It is because they have a sat satanic obsession with the things of God. They don't love Jesus Christ. They are just obsessed with Him. Just like the devils in the Bible are obsessed with Jesus Christ. In Mark 5 and verse 6, the devil possessed man ran and worshipped Jesus Christ. It says in Mark 5, 7 through 9, And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he said, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. This man had something like 2,000 devils inside of him. There is no telling how many devils are in these satanic rappers you let your kids listen to daily. These rappers are obsessed with Jesus Christ. That is why they wear the Jesus Peace necklaces around their neck. But yet everything they do is contra contrary to the Bible and what Jesus Christ taught. But not only is it satanic because of the spirits behind it, but because of the evil communications. People are deceived. Kids are deceived because their parents are deceived. They wouldn't like it if their kids went out and got mixed up with and partied with people who fornicate, do drugs, kill people, and do wicked things. They would say that's a bad influence and they have no business having any communication with people like that. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15.33, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Don't you realize when they listen to this music that these immoral, godless, reprobate, perverted people are communicating with them? Filling their mind with perversion and sin? You can tell what kind of music a person listens to many times by the clothes they wear and how they talk. If someone is listening to music with a bunch of cussing, then they are going to cuss. If you put bad stuff in, then you'll get bad stuff out. If you get these dirty, wicked lyrics in your heart, then it will come out of your mouth. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. The same way David played on a harp to drive the evil spirits out of King Saul in 1 Samuel 16.23 is the same way these rappers can play this music and drive unclean spirits into a person. You wonder why your kids are so full of rebellion. It's because of their CD collection and the music on their iPhone. 1 Samuel 15.23 says, For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. This music puts rebellion into your heart, and the Bible says it is as the sin of witchcraft. So if you're rebelling, you're acting like a witch, and that's not a compliment. I have to say that in 2016 because witches are glorified now. But who rebelled first? Satan rebelled first. So you're acting like Satan when you rebel. But not only this, hip-hop is also a satanic religion because of the self-glorification. These rappers brag about their money, fame, looks, jewelry, cars, houses, drugs, women, and so on and so forth. They brag so much about how great they are. You would think that they are self-righteous. You would think that maybe they think they are justified by their good works. That's what religion is, is works. A man who is religious thinks that he is going to heaven and pleasing God because of the good things he does and because how great he is. Christianity isn't about how great you are. It's about how great Jesus Christ is. Our righteousness is filthy rags. We ought to be in hell, but God has been merciful to us and he is offering the free gift of salvation to everyone who will come to Jesus Christ as a guilty sinner and believe on him to save them. We can't get to heaven by our own goodness or by our own righteousness. We have to get Jesus Christ's righteousness. And the moment you believe on Jesus Christ, he imputes Jesus Christ's righteousness to you. These rappers are full of their self. But to please God, you need to be humble. Proverbs 29, 23 says, A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Matthew 23, 12 says, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Rap music is nothing 
but self-glorification. They make whole songs bragging about how good they can rhyme and how much better they are than the other rapper and how they are some kind of rap god. A popular thing now is freestyle battles or rap battles like you've seen on the movie 8 Mile where two rappers go back and forth insulting each other and bragging about their self. Whoever has the best rhymes and insults wins. And this is self-glorification. And it is also childish. These rap battle clubs like Slaughterhouse, Smack TV, King of the Dot, and others are full of filth and perversion. They are extremely popular on YouTube, getting up over millions of views, and one of those views could be your kid. They are watching filthy-mouthed rappers such as the Th Thesaurus, Iron Solomon, Math Hoffa, Immaculate Conceited, Disaster, and so on and so forth. The whole concept of freestyle battling is childish and stupid. It reminds you of back when you were in elementary school, going back and forth with another kid insulting each other. This is something you can't stop doing. This is something you should stop doing when you become an adult. 1 Corinthians 13.11 says, When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. These men spend so much time trying to become better freestyle rappers, which is rapping off the top of your head without any notes. And this would be another satanic counterfeit for hiding the word of God in your heart so you can quote the scriptures without having a Bible in hand. Psalms 119.11 says, Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against God. Eminem says he used the dictionary to increase his vocabulary so that he could freestyle and write lyrics better. If you are into this type of music, the best thing you could do is get saved and then begin to spend your time in the word of God. In the book of Job, it says, Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. You should want to read the words of God so much that you crave it like food. The best writing ever done is found in the King James Bible. You should spend your time memorizing scripture, hiding the word of God in your heart so you can quote verses off the top of your head and always be ready to give an answer to every man that asks you a question. And the next reason hip-hop is satanic is because of its slang terms. If you have been around the younger generation at all, then you have heard some slang terms that have come from hip-hop artists. Words like swagger. People going around saying they have swagger. That's nothing but bragging on yourself. Once again, it's self-glorification. Ever heard someone call themselves a beast? because they are so proud of themselves for doing something. And there is nothing new under the sun. Everyday language is found in the King James Bible. People go around calling each other a beast. And the Bible calls wicked people brute beasts. In Second Peter 2.12 it says, But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, and heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children." In the tribulation time period, a beast is coming that is going to make you take a mark in your right hand or forehead. So these slang terms, even the ones that come from these hip-hop artists, can be found in a King James Bible. And what about the old slang term, off the chain? Rappers would say this while once again bragging on their self or on something they have. They would say, that's off the chain. This also comes from the Bible. The maniac of Gadara who was devil-possessed couldn't be held down with chains. Mark 5.3 says, who had, the, who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. And this is where you get that saying from. And rappers will 
refer to things as that's gangster or that's bad. Just like rockers used to say that's wicked. But they do this referring to something that they like or to something that they think is good. And the Bible says this in Isaiah 5.20, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. If something is good, but yet you say that's wicked, which is a Bible word for something evil, then you are calling evil good, and good evil. This is backwards, and the devil loves to do things backwards and make you think the opposite of way that you're supposed to think. Have you ever heard of back masking? And they make being a hustler seem like something you should strive to be. They call themselves ballers, which is someone who has a lot of money. And that is the root behind all of this. As the Bible says, the love of money is the root of all evil. Hip-hop is a, also a satanic religion because of the dancing that goes along with it. Did you know that dancing is associated with a religious worship service? When Moses was coming down from the mountain in the book of Exodus, he saw the children of Israel worshiping a golden calf. And you know what they were doing? They were dancing. This is the first time the word dancing is mentioned in the Bible. In the Bible, dancing is painted in a very negative light. And the only time it is good is when someone is praising God. The people who are praising God aren't break dancing or twerking or doing anything like that. And I doubt that you are praising the Lord when you are dancing to a rap beat. It isn't just the lyrics that's filthy. It's the beat of the music. It will make your flesh want to do sensual dances. And some songs will even make you angry and want to fight just by the beat. In Mark chapter 6, Herodias' daughter danced for King Herod, and he got full of lust. He told her he would give her the half of the kingdom, but her mother told her to say she wanted John the Baptist's head in a charger. So dancing led to a preacher's head getting cut off. So break dancing and crumping are wicked as well. The way people move their bodies can lead people to lust. Jesus said, If a man look upon a woman to lust after her, he hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Notice it says, with her, implying she had some part in the matter. You can cause a man to lust by dressing in what the Bible calls the attire of an harlot. That's immodest clothes that are tight with your body showing. You mix that with any kind of dancing that is done in these hip-hop videos and you are asking for lust. And lust leads to going through with the act later on. The Bible said it is good for a man not to touch a woman. You say, well, that's in a sexual sense. Well, what do you think this dancing is that you see in this these rap videos today? Your kids are seeing on a television in a living room what men see when they pay to go to a strip club somewhere. All the elements of hip-hop that are a part of this satanic religion will drive you further and further from God. What about graffiti, which is another element of hip-hop? It's mostly wicked as well. You have people going around portraying wicked things on a wall or whatever else. And this is nothing new. There is no new thing under the sun, as it says in the book of Ecclesiastes. And in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8, verses 8 through 10, it says, then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold, the wicked abominations they do here. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things, and abominable beasts, and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. Men have always been fascinated with portraying things on walls. But most of the stuff graffiti artists put on walls is sinful. You even have some that vandalize and spray graffiti on private property. As you can see, everything associated with hip-hop is something you should stay away from. You say, well, I just love it and don't want to give it up. That shows it is your God and you're addicted to it. If you aren't saved, then you shouldn't be worried about trying to stop listening to rap music. There's something you need to consider first. You should be concerned about 
your eternal soul that is going to spend eternity in hell fire. If a man dies without believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, then he will wind up in hell for eternity. Hell is a place prepared for the devil and his angels. There is weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth, just like the Kanye West song called Mercy says on the chorus, weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. These rap songs downplay hell. Eminem says he's going to dig his way to hell. He says he's getting by with his wicked ways. The Bible also talks about digging into hell in the book of Amos. That's because hell is beneath your feet. No one gets by with their wicked ways. The Bible says that, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment. God sees all, and you will be judged for every idle word. You will go to hell if you die without Jesus Christ, and you will be in torments for all eternity. The Bible says they have no rest, day nor night. It also says in the book of Isaiah 14:12, Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. The way out of hell is simple. It's only found in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you're not saved, then the best thing you can do is believe the gospel. The gospel is this. It's found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye, re ye have received, and wherein ye stand, but which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain, for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, God in the flesh, died on the cross as a sinless sacrifice to pay for your sin debt. He was buried and rose again the third day. He did this for us, even though we were sinners. Romans 5, 8 says, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 3, 9 says, What then? Are we better than they? No, and no wise, for we have both proved both Jews and Gentiles that they are all under sin. Galatians 3.22 But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. Romans 3.10 and 11 As it is written, there is none righteous, no not one, there is none that understandeth, there is none that seeketh after God. We can only get righteousness by placing our faith on Jesus Christ. Romans 3.22 and 23 says, Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all, and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. To be saved, you come to God as a guilty sinner, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and His precious blood. In Colossians 1.14 it says, In whom we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins. The Bible is plain on how to be saved and have eternal life. Acts 16.31 says, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Do you want to be saved? It is simple. There is simplicity in Christ. It isn't hard to get saved. Jesus will save any sinner that comes to him. If you realize your guilt of sin and know you deserve hell, then you are under conviction. Would you like to be saved? The Bible makes it plain. Paul told the man to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It isn't just believing that Jesus was a real person in history. It is taking it a step further and believing on the Lord Jesus Christ and His blood to save you. You believe on Him by placing your trust on Him and on His finished work on the cross. He is your crucified, buried, and risen Savior that shed His blood. He took your place. If you will believe on Him, then He will take your unrighteousness and give you His righteousness. That is the only way to be saved and the only way to be reconciled to a holy God. There had to be a perfect sacrifice, and that was the Lord Jesus Christ. No personal work on your part could merit eternal salvation. Eternal salvation is found in one man, the only man who ever lived a perfect life, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, God, on the, God in the flesh. So if you want to be saved, come to Him as a guilty sinner, and believe on Him and His precious blood, and you will be saved.